Welcome! Today I have a very interesting video for you. I will share a new technique I am using for quick color grading. This will really blow your mind. It is really easy and super awesome. To be honest, I have never seen this technique ever before and it works really well in Affinity Photo. Theoretically, the same effect can also be achieved in Photoshop, but because how Photoshop works with stack layers, I don't think it would work well as in Affinity. Curious already? Well, let's get started with the mean stack color grade, as I like to call it. As I mentioned, it is really easy. First, we duplicate our layer four times. Next step is to group them as a live stack using the arrange menu. Now comes the interesting part. We invert from the top the second and the last layer in the stack group by pressing Ctrl I. The stack by default is using the median mode which results in this bright image we see right now. Let's change this to mean. Once we change the stacking method to mean, the end result is pure gray. Let's group the stack layer and change the blend mode to overlay. Remember that pure gray has no effect in the overlay blend mode. So the end result we see right now is exactly where we started. To color grade, we are going to add a couple of adjustments to the layers in the stacked group. Let's start with a recolor adjustment to the second layer. On the third layer, we are going to add a black and white adjustment layer. And finally, on the last layer, we are going to add the brightness and contrast, and later on in the video, the shadows or highlights adjustment. Keep in mind, as you see, the adjustments have to be child layers. If the added adjustments do not become child layers, drag and drop them into the according layer as I am doing. Actually, we are done now. Let me show you now what you can do with it. By using the recolor adjustment, you can give the photo a very natural color tone. By using the saturation and lightness, you can control the intensity of the color tone. On the black and white adjustment, you can again adjust the luminance of the colors in a very natural way. For example, you can make the reds darker or lighter, and so on. The final adjustment is the brightness and contrast, which allows you to control these two properties. But as I mentioned before, I prefer using the shadows and highlights adjustment here. With the highlight slider, you can darken or lighten the whole image in a very natural way. Let's compare side by side. I will quickly copy the image, move it to the right and adjust the canvas size so we can see the original image twice. So the color graded image is now on the left and the original is on the right. Let me quickly add a recolor adjustment and mask it to the original image by using a group. If we change the blend mode of this recolor adjustment to luminosity, we kind of get a similar effect. But as you can see, it is not very natural and does not give the image a color tone. Probably we would need to use a selective color or a color balance adjustment to get the color tone. Let's go back to the recolor in the stack layer. See how easy it is to change the color? Just amazing. Let's go to another image, a portrait this time. I already had created the mean stack color grade layers. 
just to remind you how easy it is, here are the steps again. Copy four times, stack group them, invert second and last layer, change stack mode to mean, group the stack, set the blend mode to overlay, add a recolor, black and white, and the shadow and highlights adjustment. Let's play with the adjustment to show you how easy it is to modify the colors to get an amazing professional look. Can we achieve the same color grades in other ways? Of course we can. Let me show you. First, let me mask the mean stack to the left side of the image. And create a group with a mask for the right side. Now, let me try to achieve the same effect as the mean stack. My goal is now to get the right side look like the left side. Okay now, first a curves adjustment to brighten things up, as the left side is brighter. Now we can use a selective color adjustment to get the colors in sync. We are almost there. There are still some mismatches in the brightness. Let's add a curves layer to fix them. There we have it. Exactly the same. So it is definitely possible to get the same result in other ways. But the power of the mean stack technique is in its flexibility and ease of use. Let me show you how easily it is to change the color grading by using the stack mean color grade technique. Within a few seconds we have a completely different color look. And now compare what I have to do in the other layers to get the same look. I hope this makes sense for you. The mean stack color grade is just an amazing way to quickly color grade your images in a very natural and professional way. I hope you liked this video. If you have any other subjects with Affinity Photo you want me to focus on, please leave a comment below and maybe I will do a video on your subject. Thanks for watching. And until next time.